This is the Share UAV PSDK 102 SV3. The down view focal length is 25 mm with shortest focus distance of 12 meters. The side view focal length is 35 mm with the shortest focus distance of 22 meters. Total pixels of the 5 lens camera is 102 million pixels. As the first gimbal equipped 5 lens camera, the weight with gimbal is 1100 grams. Angel adjustment of the gimbal is pitch minus 120 degree to 45 degree. Roll menus 45 degree to 45 degree and yaw minus 160 degree to 160 degree. The adjustment can make up the angel differential in fast flying so as to keep the camera lenses always vertical to the ground. The next step is the drone installation. Firstly take the cover on Skyport off. Camera connection align white point on the port ring to the red point. Turn on. Short press and then long press the power button of the controller. Then short press and then long press the power button of drone. Camera will automatically turn on when the drone turn on. Gimbal will self-check the status during the turning on. Check the camera's status through the display screen. Initial interface of the display showing the drone model the camera connected. Shot number, shot times, photo number of each lens. RTK status, camera temperature, humidity, and Bluetooth connection. The next interface displaying, storage, shutter status, shutter speed, ISO, white balance, color mode. Click flight route in the front screen. Firstly choose create a route also choose KMZ and port range. If you need to input KMZ, you can connect the cable with the controller to input data in advance. Then choose the terminal where the file is. We choose create a route here. Because our camera can shoot in 5 angels. We can just press mapping for oblique surveying mission. Tap the target surveying era on controller. If you use KMZ import, then ignore this step. Select the camera mode to create a new camera. Photo size is 6144 by 4096. Sensor size is 23.1 by 15.4. Focal length is 25 mm. Timed interval shot is 1 second. DJI only support 1 second so far. After selected the camera model, we start to set flight altitude. The lower the flight height is, the higher the photo resolution will be. The higher the flight height is, the lower the photo resolution will be. We set a flight height of 200 meters. The accordingly GSD is 3 cm. With equipped 3-axis stabilized gimbal, 102 SV3 can carry out project in the fast speed. Then we set 15 meter per second. The next step is advanced settings. Overlap setting. Recommending side overlap 70%. Frontal overlap 80%, which can meet most applications' demands. Then let's set up course angle. Usually we set up it parallel to the long side of the survey area so as to cut down the times of UAV turning around and improve the mission efficiency. Turn the set margin to guarantee the precision of the survey range's edge. We need to set it two times of the flight height. For now we can only set it 100 meter for the project needing flight height over 100 meter. We need to manually set it two times of the flight height in the third-party application. Then photo mode setup. We recommend the mode of distances interval shot. Click save button to save your settings. Now we check the flight safety setting. Tap the bottom of three points at right. Check the setup of home point setting. Out of control action. Sensor status. Obstacle sensing. The right flight mode. Battery condition, remote control mode. And finally, the RTK connection. Next, let's get to know more about our product functions. Tap camera setting. First, turn on display real-time data. Now, we can see camera status in real-time on the screen. The next one is on off button which can switch the camera on and off. 
and the down view lens can be turned on in orthographic mode separately. PSDK 102 SV3 supports the adjustment of shutter speed, white balance, color mode, ISO. There are options of auto sunny cloudy on white balance. We recommend 1 800 of shutter speed in cloudy days and 1 1000 in sunny days, 1 1250 under strong lighting. Color modes are standard and vivid. Photos color is richer in vivid mode. We can choose flight control trigger, isochronic trigger, and isometric trigger in burst mode. When carrying out flight mission, select flight control trigger mode. If you set up isochronic trigger or isometric trigger, camera will take shot according to the time interval or distance set automatically. The camera will automatically take pictures according to the set shooting interval. Gimbal control. The gimbal's angle can be adjusted through gimbal pitch control dial. The left dial is used to control the pitch angle of the gimbal. The right dial is used to control the pan and tilt angle of the gimbal. Next, I will explain to you how to check before flight of the aircraft. First check whether frame arms are locked tightly. Are the landing gears tightened? Is the camera installed properly? Then check the battery locker. Then take a picture manually via the remote controller. Check if the camera is working. After manually taking 5 pictures, check the camera display and camera information on the remote control interface. Check if it shows the same photo numbers shot as that on camera display. Check if the camera display shows 50 after RTK at the same time, and the fixed solution is displayed on the DJI Pilot interface. After finishing the checklist, click Upload Route. After uploading the route, it will let you check various safety parameters. After the confirmation, click Start to execute the flight route automatically. During the project carrying out, we must always pay attention to the flight status of the drone and the camera's photographing status to ensure the mission safety. We can see photo commands, photo shots of the five lenses, camera temperature, and RTK status through the real-time data window. The image transmission of PSDK 102 SV3 is 1080p live view. Image transmission can dynamically adjust the data transmission based on the distance of the drone to ensure the clarity and stability of image transmission. When the aircraft returns with low battery power to replace the battery, the drone supports hot swapping for battery replacement. After changing the battery, check photo counts on camera screen to see if it's consistent with the remote control. Then click continue the flight route to continue the mission. After the mission finished, we need to check the photo number on camera and remote control again to make sure the two keep the same. Whether the number of small screens of the machine is the same as that of the remote control. Turn off the power of the aircraft after confirmation and the camera will automatically turn off. Press and hold the aircraft gimbal unlock button, rotate the gimbal to remove the camera, and the mission of this flight route successfully finished.